Ever since Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops into Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula in late February, many lives have been affected. Hundreds of ethnic Tatars have fled, bound for Kiev or western Ukraine, in fear that their community could be targeted by the Kremlin-backed authorities. Then there's the Ukrainian army and navy personnel based in Crimea, many of whom were forced to flee or were blockaded by Russian troops until they surrendered. And don't forget those who rely on tourism, a major source of income which is already becoming a casualty of the conflict. However, there's one more, less likely victim which may also suffer, the lions in the safari park. Although the Russian flags are flying outside the park entrance, the lions inside are not happy. They face the possibility of starvation because the Ukrainian bank accounts have been blocked and the meat supply is running out. There is only enough meat in the park for a few days. We will have to come up with something. It is impossible to explain to tigers that they have become victims of someone's political ambition or a revolution. They need meat, 7 to 10 kilograms a day. In total, the park consumes about 500 kilograms of meat per day. The park is also home to other animals, including giraffes, Australian ostriches, monkeys and kangaroos. President Putin signed laws completing Russia's annexation of Crimea late last month after a widely condemned referendum that overwhelmingly backed succession from Kiev. Now there's hope that Putin, with his world-renowned macho image, will step in to help finance the lion's dinner.